Hey everybody, I'm Inks Laura123 and in this video I'm joined by Mummy123 and today we are going to be cooking, oh yeah, we're going to be making a vegetable soup. Yeah, vegetable soup. Mummy's. Mummy's, your your version of <laughs> vegetable soup. So if you like vegetable soup and you want to know how to make it, carry on watching. You know when I like soup best? When it's cooked. <laughs> Obviously when it's cooked, but no, on those kind of cold winter nights, you know, you sit in front of the fire and you've got your book and some soup and it's just like, oh, it's so nice. It's quite warm out today though. It is quite warm out today, but it's going to be it's cold. For it's going to be it's cold. All vegetables. To be fair, you can eat, you know, soup any time of year, but it's extra special when it's cold. Anyway, when okay. the weather's cold, not when the soup's cold. No, when the weather's <laughs> cold. Okay, so what we're going to do first is show you the ingredients, okay, what we've got. So um, if you want to grab a pen and paper, write things down if you, you know, want to make this as well. So do you want to tell them what ingredients yeah. they need? You peel your carrots and you dice them up fairly small. So we've got some carrots. Then I carrots. like, I love the smell of turnips. Oh, you smell them turnips, I love them. I've smelled better. <laughs> well, so have I. Mean, turnip, dice them up small. Turnips. turnips. So carrots, turnips. Onion. Not too much onion because Laura doesn't like too onion, much onion. Onion, yeah. But obviously if you like a lot of onion, put more yeah, in. But Diced potatoes. I use some small potatoes. ones that are in the fridge. And dust, peeled them and diced them up. Right. Potatoes. I mean, a lot of people like other vegetables mm. in it. Sweet and yeah, all true. different things. Yeah, you can put any vegetable in it's a vegetable your choice. soup. Yeah. But then I'd use lentils. Red Sp split lentils they are. Yeah, tube, a tube. A couple of spoonfuls <laughs> of them. So, yeah, a couple of spoonfuls of them. I'm doing it now. Spoonfuls, spoonfuls of them. Spoonfuls Dessert of spoons of them. Okay. And then most important... Pearl barley. Pearl now, barley. viewers, I don't know if you realise, but when you use pearl barley, you must pour boiling water over it, because <laughs> otherwise, and I've seen them, you get weevils moving about in them. So what you have to do is put some in a sieve. What's a weevil? A little crawly thing. Like they move insect. about. Yeah, because once... But why would they be in barley? They're in barley from the crop. What crop? The crop of barley. Oh, right, okay. So you have to, because once before I left them in a tin for ages with a lid on, part of plastic tin, and I opened it up and I thought, I swore blind I saw something move, mm. and it did. I don't know, it just went a random insect. Well, my eyes are good. No, there, there was... Well, there's loads of them. You get them in weevils in barley. <laughs> you get right. weevils. So what I do is I always pour some into the... Oh, just about that amount, because it swells. No, oh, it gets bigger. Well, that's what swells <laughs> means, yes. <laughs> And then what you must always do is put boiling water through it. So I don't know if the camera can see it. I can put the but camera. You strain down. them off. Hold on one second. Oh, so you get some kettle water. Boil the kettle up. water from the kettle. Even not just kettle boiling water. up. I can see you in there, Weevil. Not really. You can't see, but then sometimes they've been in there a while and they're out of date. How long have they been in there? They've been in there about six years. No, <laughs> no, they're fresh. I don't so, eat no weevil. I'm a vegetarian. Well, the weevil's not fussy. <laughs> so then, look, viewers, you pour it over boiling water I see, over yeah. over it. So any weevils. So that kills the. What happens to the weevil? It just goes in there. It just strains them off. It kills Is them. Is there any weevils? No. Then what I'll do is I'll stress, throw this away and rinse it under a cold tap. That's children. So it's weevil free. Weevil face and 63. Weevil free. I like your apron. Betty Boo. <laughs> What's it say on it? Some like it hot? Yeah. And then I'll mix, might mix them at the same time. I'll get a handful of red lentils. So these are the red lentils. They just flavour it. Do they get weevils? No, I haven't seen any in there. Okay. So I've got a tin for me weevil, a tin for my, for your weevils. A tin for me lentils. <laughs> I've got a tin for my weevils. Can you open that in the bin, please? Oh. That's it. So I've got 
put them in the container. <laughs> I've got the tins with my weevils. That's big of me. Oh, I want to go Google and look at what a weevil looks like. Tiny little things. Right, that should go away. Right, now we're ready. Right, what's going on so now? So we get the saucepan. We boil up some more water. And then... So you've just got water in the saucepan, just yeah? Just water. And I'm how gonna, much water? Well, I'm going to add some. So I've got some in the saucepan so already. So it's only a, sp a small amount. Yeah, I will put more in. Yeah. Otherwise we'll have no soup. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to oh, pour yeah. in the weevil-free uh -huh. barley and lentils. And then, if you want to, you can pour the stock cubes into boiling water. Or what do you do with stock cubes? Open it up and put it in the water. Oh, I don't know. I don't use stock cubes. Oh. No. So are these vegetarian? Vegetables. They're not meat ones. No. No smell. They smell like... Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Into in the there? water. Yeah, I'll put two into that flavour the soup a bit more. Okay. My mum used to make vegetable soup, but then she'd have meat bones. Oh, so that's it. mank. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. What, be a meat it. bone? Would you eat yeah. the bone? Some people suck it. Oh. This is meat, like marrow bone or something. There's meat on it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. Why would you suck on a bone? <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> and then you'd mix it up. Yeah, you can have a go. You mix it up till this is stock cubes have dissolved. Okay. Flatten it down with a spoon so it's it. So you mix anywhere. Two I've just got two stock cubes in some water and I've already got boiled water in with the soup. Right, okay. In with the weed with the Stop saying oh, weevils. weevils. I'm never gonna want to eat it. I keep thinking there's weevils in it. Right, that's done. Now pour that into yeah. the saucepan that's got the barley and the lentils. Pour it all in. All in. That's it. Okay, chef. And then you pour stir your stir this. Can do. It's not necessary. It's going to no. stir it all now. Okay. Then you pour in all your veg. So I tell the viewers what you're putting in. Onion. Okay. Oh, it smells of onion. What it would do? It's an onion. <laughs> <laughs> so got got some onion going in. Yeah. Okay. I've washed your hands. I've washed my hands. Right. Do you want carrots in it? Yeah, show them the carrots. That's a carrot. Smells of carrots if you smell it. Mm, it smells of like carrots. Now that I think smells better than a turnip. Then you've got your turnip. <laughs> Talking of turnips. Talking of turnips. So you've got some turnips going in. All cut up small. Yeah, so we kind of like little chunks. Then you've got your potatoes. Ah, uh, potato. My favourite vegetable ever. Okay. Oh. oh, it's splashing oh. up and... Ow. Okay. Right. Stir. stir it. So stir it to make sure everything's kind of getting mixed up, otherwise you'll have yeah. it all in one area. And then all you need to add now is fish. Oh. There you go. All you need to add now, you must put salt and pepper in because it'll have no taste. Yeah. So you've got ground white pepper. So this is ground white pepper. Ground white pepper. How much? Can you use black pepper? Well, I normally put a bit in it because it. I like it pepper. Better. I like a lot. Of yeah, pepper. that's enough. That's enough. You can always add, but <laughs> you can't take out. You can add, but you can't take out. Yeah, now we true. need salt. Oh, sorry, the holes are blocked. <laughs> right, that's enough. You don't mind the pie. I like stirring it. I've stirring. always been called a bit of a stirrer. Right, that's plenty. It's only little right. holes. There wasn't that much going in. Okay. So, stir it up. When it's done, done. So what you do, stir it up. You'd put it on the gas and bring it up to the boil. Oh, then when it, you. You, it's all done now. She's done all that, but you can't. You can only see me. You can't see the soup. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah. I'll zoom in again. Zoom in. Whoa. Right. So Look that's that. already done. That's just ready to it's cook. All done. <laughs> no, it's, all, no, it's all mixed and yeah, done. Yeah. You've got your barley, your lentils, salt and pepper, turnip, onion, potato and carrot. 
you can add mushrooms or whatever other vegetables your viewers like and then you bring it up to the boil and then when it's come up to the boil so you put it on the cooker yeah bring it up to the boil and then when you get a lot of sort of i don't know what it's called but stuff coming to the top so i'd use my scoop stuff coming to the top yeah like i don't know what it's called frost that frothy thing so when you get stuff coming up to the top yeah. we don't know what the stuff you take is. all the top off and you'd have a bit of kitchen roll and put it in that so yeah. it strains the top off like the little milky bit like yeah thick sort of yeah you know when you boil milk up you mean yeah, like the froth. it goes like a skinny frothy yeah. okay so then you bring it up to the boil put the lid on and then when you've taken all the rubbish off the top uh, then you simmer it and you cook it very slow for a long time till how you like it. So when you say a long time, have you got any sort of idea? Probably about an hour and a half at least on a very low light. So whereas this is a big light at the front of my cooker, right. I'll do it to the one and it just cooks very slowly. So you bring it up to the boil. Yeah. I've got it on now. She's got it on a high light on the cooker at just the moment. Just bring it up. And that just brings it up to that boil. Yeah. And then... You just turn the light down really, really turn low. Turn the light down really low. And then about half, uh, in about five minutes, you take all the top off. Take that layer of manky stuff off. Scum, I think it is. Scum. Not scum. <laughs> just scum. Not scum. But Boy, it's scum. scum. Get off my seat. It's not that sort of scum. So I've after the scum's gone. Ready. How long are we cooking it for? I would say about an hour and a half. And then you turn it out, and it, if you leave it overnight, it will thicken up. You can always add a little drop yeah, of water. Yeah, true. If you do want it the next day, which sounds a bit, Ugh, but it's really nice actually. The next day, it gets a bit thicker, so you kind—I of, don't know—it kind of goes more like a a broth actually, yeah. like it's soup day one and broth day two. You just cook it slowly, and what you can do, viewers, if you like it that much, and if you work like I do, <laughs> a good thing to do is to I have, work. I work with you. Well, no, you come in, I work. <laughs> uh, what you could do is have containers, if you like it, and you can pour it in. And have it for breakfast, lunch, <laughs> no, dinner. You can freeze it. So when yeah. when you come home, it ready. it's already done. Take it out of the freezer and just warm it up in and the microwave. And it's great for like, healthy meal. I mean, yes. oh, it can't be fatty, can it? A vegetable no, soup. No. So obviously, if you're looking to diet. <laughs> <I'll be off>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can, you can just have some vegetable soup and it's really healthy. With the lids in or the bags. You can get bags now for soup. Oh, I couldn't eat soup in a carrier bag. No! You cook it in that and then put it in a bowl. Oh, because oh. I've seen them soup bags. I, I, I couldn't sit there and eat out of a bag. No, you don't eat it. You just heat it up in the bag. Oh. In the morning, oh. you put it in a bowl. Okay. So you can have containers like this. Hold on, I'll show. Hold on. Da 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 da. Oh, these can. Oh. Sorry, viewers. Toast the filler. Yeah. So you can have this salt with the lids on. You put lids on, and you can freeze them. Like hostess. You can get like disposable lids. Containers. So you put soup in that, you've got a little lid. Or you can get smaller ones just for soup. Small. You can have them, you can make a whole batch of it. You can make loads of soup. <laughs> <laughs> so much in soup. Yes. It'll be coming out your ears. <laughs> Not only your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will be honest with you. I know my viewers know me, so it's fine. But um, yeah, this will, you know, possibly make you go to the toilet a bit. It's vegetables, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's just me because I've got IBS. But I suppose if you're not a sufferer of IBS, you might be able to eat loads of vegetables and be fine. Yeah, you always clear up after you, don't you, Laura? Yeah. So and that's coming up, so if you keep talking to your viewers while I lean over and fill the dishwasher. Well, okay, that makes me look like I'm not doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a spoon gone down there. Can you reach it? Oh. That's it. Oh. That's it. Okay. We're waiting for the scum. <laughs> well, you'll see it in a minute. So, did you enjoy cooking when you were younger? Yeah. Travel 
Most children do that. <laughs> it's children, you do it there. No, I don't. So how long is it going to be for the scum? Well, it's starting to come out a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you take your camera off, if you want to, yeah. you can show them what is on the top. Okay. Mm. A friend once I love told this. me... I'll just have a drop of wine. This, like oh, yeah, this is zero sugar. Uh, it's vanilla Coke. I do actually prefer Pepsi Max, but I like a bit of vanilla. Do you know, I'm making yeah. out this is wine, but I don't drink. No, but what it is... That's this is one, isn't it? No. This no. is Cherry Pepsi Max. Pepsi? Cherry Pepsi Max. Pepsi. 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 Okay. I like Cherry Pepsi Max as well. What somebody also told me, that instead of using the spoon, you can put kitchen roll, just lay it on the top if it's clean, which it obviously is, and that takes it off as well. Now, the, if you show the your scum. Viewers, <laughs> is, there a, is there a spoon there, please? Ooh. This is all coming up. Right, bear Let's with see. me. Bear with me one second. Okay, so. Right, if you look, look. in the show your viewers inside close up. See, that's all Oh, the you froth. can see the stuff. Yeah. Is that the scum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what you can do, you can either bring it up to the boil and take it off with this spoon. You won't do it with a normal spoon. But if you... T no. Oh, yeah, look. Ugh. Take it off with that, because you don't want to eat that. No. Mm, no. Or the easiest way. What is it, though? Why does it go mm. like that? Is it... Like, everyone's going like that? Yeah. What I, I can do... Just get some kitchen roll. You turn the light down a little bit. Yeah, I suppose you don't want to like cook it like too long. What you can do yes, is if you get clean Did kitchen you just roll. Burp? <laughs> I forgot I, I was live on there. Look, you can put live it on the top. On Look, you can put it on the top. Are you putting kitchen roll on it? Yeah, but it's clean. I've just put it fresh. <laughs> I'm just keep taking saying it out. Look, it's clean. And then you take it all out. Move away. Oh, God. It takes oh. a lot of it off. Yeah, isn't that a bit dangerous? That looked like you could burn your hands. Well, I not... probably don't advise this, viewers, because it, no, it just looks... Not... And when you get bits of the tissue paper in the soup... No, it's all kind of complete. You can tell you mm. it's all okay. complete. So a lot of that has come off I, now. I don't want to be eating kitchen roll. No, that's... See how it's cleared? Yeah, no, that's cleared. And if you're making chicken soup, ever... Well, that I gets a lot. vegetarian. No, but I'm not, and I do. So you can do that with chicken soup, because if you bring soup up to so the bowl... So what would you do? Have the same stuff in it, but add a bit of chicken? You'd have chicken in it, yeah. Could you add, I don't know, any other um, meat? Beef? Yeah, you do what you want. But it's, mm. I'm not very good at cooking beef. Right, so this, every so often you stir it, so you can see all the barley and mm. the lentils, and then you just turn it on a very low light. All the rubbish is off the top, so now I'll put it back to the back. Actually, I'll use this one oh, so it's going to I'll turn this one out, put that one on the back light so it's a bit smaller, and then I'll just cook it on a low light with a lid on, half. Half a so lid on. So it really is on a, like, a really tiny little light under there. And just cook it slowly. Yeah. But every so often, probably in about half an hour, I'll have a little taste of it to see if it needs any more salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so cool. viewers, you've now had cooking with Mummy123. Mind you, what did I make the other day? That come out all right. That cake. Oh, that was lovely. Mm, all the neighbours all the neighbours had some of them. No, they, they didn't. It. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um so that, that's it, so we're just going to leave it cooking basically, and what we'll do, we'll come back, well, yeah, we'll film, how long will it be? Well, I'll give it at least an hour and a half. The vegetables don't take that long, it's just that you want to get the nice yeah. flavours and that. And in about, I don't know, half an hour or so, I think you get that kind of smell coming into the kitchen of all like, that vegetable soupy smell, which I love the smell of like vegetable soup and vegetables in general. Can so, I tell the viewers something? Well, I don't know, what are you going to tell them? 
Well, if it doesn't come out any good, the vegetable soup, I can always cheat with Heinz <laughs> till the Heinz gone. The vegetable. <laughs> no, we're not going to cheat. If it's horrible, it's horrible. But it should be all right. Should be okay. Flavoring. It might need more salt and pepper or it might put too much in. Oh, God. So we'll have a little bit of a taste and we'll, yeah, we'll just basically film when it's sort of done and you can see the finished result. And we'll have a little taste, yeah? A little taste test. Yeah, but it takes longer. longer it cooks, it's better and it goes soft. And you go, yeah, I mean, obviously you can have it a bit harder, but I think soup is just better. Did you burp again? It's the Pepsi Max. I'm so sorry, viewers. Mm. Um, it's better when it's nice and succulent and soft and yummy so okay cool um, right <laughs> so carry on watching and you'll see what the soup ended up like and see us tasting it yeah do you want to say goodbye for now goodbye for now okay I'll see you soon keep watching okay so the soup is now done and we're going to show you the soup and then we're going to have a little taste okay so mummy one two three do you want to show them the soup hold on i'll put the camera down ooh, ooh, ooh. there we go so that is the soup i'll just zoom in on that i did smash the potatoes down a little bit yeah because so the, the potatoes are a bit large bit big so i've cooked them i've made them a little bit uh, and like smaller. squashed them a little so if you bit. want to taste it a little bit okay well, i'll bring the camera up again do you want to put that down so yeah, it's a bit heavy, heavy. Yeah. <laughs> just standing over every really heavy saucepan okay right sure. should we taste it mm. dropped a bit on the floor Oops. Yeah, right so it's really hot obviously oh Nice. Mm. Mm. Doesn't need any no. flavouring. Mm. Don't put any more pepper you in it. You definitely need, if your potato chunks are large mm. or your carrots are large, just use your potato mash to squash it. I yeah, because it it's could a do, bit. Might do with another sort of half an hour to cook. But other than that, it mm. tastes nice. It's nice, but. Yeah, I'll just. I think it needs, I don't know, no more seasoning because no, no, it's no. fine. But yeah. it needs a little bit longer, maybe another half hour or so. Yeah, maybe. I have got a special simmer uh, plate if you want to show the viewers. Because if you try and put it on the lower slide on your gas cooker, you throw them. If you've got um, put it on the lower slide, it was still boiling over a bit. So what I invested in is something called a simmer plate. So this is very hot. It's special. If you put it on the gas on the light, <laughs> and, then, cool. and then it cools down. It makes it simmer without it overcooking, so you can just leave it on the lower slide and it'll carry on cooking. It's good. That's, that's quite nice. Yeah. It's not really nice flavour. Mm. The right amount of salt, the right amount of pepper. Just need the barley. A little bit, yeah, the barley. barley. A little bit hard still. Yeah. So but we need least, to... At least we haven't got any more, uh, what's it, weevils. weevils. Perhaps it was the weevil that made it hard. <laughs> No, just I'll give that another half an hour. Yeah, and then it'll be perfect. It. Yeah, just keep and it. And I like the fact that on the lowest line, mashed it a bit, not as big yeah, a chunk. Some people like larger chunks, but it's not. Some people like big ones, and some people like small ones. <laughs> some people like them as big as your head. That's an old song. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the video. So hopefully you enjoyed cooking uh, with Mummy One Two Three and me. Laura One Two. Minx Laura One Two. <laughs> just Laura. Minx Laura. Yes. So please click like, please comment and please subscribe. Don't forget if you do make it, uh, make a lot and then put it into containers and put it in the freezer when it's cooled down. So right? much soup. Yeah. Just soup. Yeah. Everywhere soup. Just make sure you buy plenty of toilet rolls. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, please comment, click like, comment, subscribe and uh, check me out on social media. Links are down below. Uh, down below, Twitter is at MinxLaura123, Facebook is MinxLaura.5 and Instagram is MinxLaura123. Alright everyone, take care and goodbye from me. Bye. And bye from her. And bye from her. Bye from me.